Hey everyone, and welcome back to EDU in 90. This episode starts a two-part series on a subject that's surely top of mind for school leaders, cybersecurity. Online security risks are everywhere, and when an issue comes up, you need to be ready to act quickly. Did you know that last year there were 113 cybersecurity incidents in schools, districts, and universities in the US alone? These resulted in over 2 million exposed sensitive records. Knowing how to deal with bad actors might feel overwhelming, but Google has a number of tools to help you build a safe online environment. Today, we'll be talking about the Security Center, a G Suite enterprise for education resource that combines analytics and actionable insights to help admins prevent, detect, and remediate security threats. Let's check it out. The Security Center is made up of three main components. First, there's the Security Health page, which helps you monitor and tighten security to prevent incidents across G Suite for Education and down to individual organizational units. Here, you can review and implement recommendations to improve security on an ongoing basis. Next, you have a unified security dashboard that gives an overview of what's going on in your domain. You can detect threats as soon as they appear with visibility into your domain's data exposure and analytics to measure your security effectiveness. The last part of the Security Center is the investigation tool that helps you identify, triage, and take action on security and privacy issues in your domain. Next episode, we'll focus on this tool, so stay tuned for that. The Security Center has tools for a range of uses, so let's walk through an example to see how it all comes together. Let's say I'm an admin and I want to see if there are any security issues on my domain. First, I'll head to the admin home screen, then to security, then dashboard to reach the security dashboard. Here, I can monitor a number of potentially suspicious activities. According to the 2018 Semantic Internet Security Threat Report, 71% of targeted attacks involved the use of phishing emails. So let's talk about how to spot a phishing email and what to do next. To do this, we'll take a closer look at a phishing email that was sent to the spam folder of someone on my domain. I can see from the dashboard that the suspicious email was sent on February 15. I'm able to get a larger view of the graph and filter the information in a number of ways. For instance, I can look at internal versus external traffic or see whether the email was marked as spam before or after delivery. Then I can click on the graph to reveal the email's subject line, as well as who sent the email, who received it, the sender's IP address, domain, and more. I can then click on the magnifying glass to open the investigation tool. We'll stop here for now and continue next time when we dive into the investigation tool in a bit more detail. These tools can make a big difference in keeping your users, devices, data, and domain protected, safe, and secure online. In the comments section below, let us know about your cybersecurity experiences, and don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Looking for the latest from Google for Education? Check out our last episode to learn about tech resources for families, a new teacher center course, and much more.